Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this week I'm going to be doing some hunting. Uh, it's Friday right now. Tomorrow is going to be Saturday. And it is absolutely freezing outside. It, the high tomorrow morning is, um, it's going to be in the teens. I have no idea what the high or the low is or whatever. But uh, it's going to be in the teens in the morning. We saw four deer just like right out here just a little bit ago. And it's dark now, so it's like 9.30 or something. I don't know. But, uh, so I'm going to wake up in the morning, going to do some hunting. I can't decide if I'm going to sit in the woods on some acorns or if I'm going to sit out on a bean field, which bean field has food on it so that the deer can eat because, I mean, of course they're going to be moving and looking for food whenever it's 10 degrees outside. And it's uh, also a good crossing point, but the bad thing about that, the deer are usually out of bow range, but, um, there's this spot where there's always mature deer walking through that's going to be in perfect range but the deer whenever they hear somebody up here i don't know it's weird they got us patterned really well so i don't know i'll probably go try the bean field but i'm not sure yet uh i'm planning on shooting a doe doe or whatever walks by i passed up so many deer this year yeah, so I've passed up so many deer this year, a lot of small bucks and a lot of does. So I'm planning on shooting one tomorrow, in which it's, um, I think it's muzzleloader season, but I'm bow hunting because you're allowed to bow hunt during muzzleloader season. Season, well, I can't talk. But that's a little summary about what's going on this weekend. So let's hopefully tomorrow morning and get the job done and put my tag around a big buck or a mature doe, so I'll see you guys in the morning.
Alright guys, well, obviously that did not go as I planned it to, but um, I got a little antsy there as you could tell, I started calling at them, and that was enough where, well before that they saw me, I mean it was obvious they saw me, which uh, that was my first time ever videotaping, well that was my first time ever videotaping a hunt, but it was my first time ever videotaping a hunt with my bow in my hand ready to shoot, so um, I was moving around way too much. And uh, they saw me, so I got busted. And uh, I guess the calling probably didn't help either. Over called at them, but uh, that happened. So I learned something new that uh, I had my camera on the left side of my body and I'm a right handed shooter. So instead of having to reach all the way over here to move the camera because I'm holding my bow with my left hand, I should need to put my camera on this side. So that was a stupid move because then I could just move my camera like this. And it'd be the slightest movement. The deer most likely would not see me, but that happens. So I guess I learned my lesson. And, uh, yeah, well, that's uh, all the deer that I saw for the weekend. Well, yeah, it was all the deer I saw for the weekend. But that was only Saturday, which it still is Saturday today. But um, I hunted tonight, and I just got back, and I didn't see anything. But uh, I guess whatever. I'm not hunting tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'll probably vlog or something. But uh, we'll figure something out. I don't think pizza might be here. But. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's not. So, um, I'll probably vlog tomorrow. And um, that's all that happened. Saw so those eight deer this morning. Uh, four of the deer I didn't get on camera because they were way too far out of range for the camera. So hopefully next weekend I'll get out into the stand and I will uh, get some more video of deer and hopefully get a shot at one. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.